Love and light everyone, it's Brian here at Redleaf Ranch. Today we're gonna do something a little different. I've been seeing this really amazing photo circulating around the internet um, with these chickens that are gathered around a picnic table. And I was so inspired by it, I'm just gonna use some old wood that we have lying around the property and I'm gonna build my very own for the chickens. So I'm gonna walk you through my process. Um, I'm really just winging it, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> Speaking of which, we have some goddamn chickens in the garden again. And this is how I see, I grab it and they immediately run. They know it's trouble. Ow! Thank you. Hmm. So I found some of this old wood lying around and I think it'd be really great to use for the picnic table. I think it would be good against weather, um, very good against chickens, and it's really strong. So I think it would really hold together and give us a nice table. So let's see what we can do. <laughs> so the first thing I'm actually gonna do is build the tabletop. Um, and I'm gonna put some edges around it because chickens have a tendency to be very messy. So I think it'll help keep the food on the actual table when I put it on the tabletop. Um, I am no professional. I'm just gonna create it in front of you um, and just show you my process with it. Um, I'm just really inspired to do it and I think it'd be really fun to share it with you. So let's get to it found these three pieces and I think I'll drill them first see how it all looks together um, and then I'll cut off the edges to make it nice and clean I'm gonna piece them together using these three smaller boards I think they would fit in perfectly here and give that support for the legs that I need all the tools I'm using today are gonna be a um, electrical saw the drill um, a tape measure and wood screws. It should be pretty easy. I'm really excited for it. That was just so cute, and I know my chickens would love that. And my chickens are classy. I don't want them eating off the ground all the time. Wow, and this drill's dead. I'm gonna go get another one. I found another battery. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be perfect. Sweet. Probably won't need one in the middle. This is really strong wood. So I'll just leave it at that. Now I'm going to cut it just so I get straight edges enjoy my process. I literally just create as I go. I don't necessarily plan these things out a lot. I literally just looked up a picture of a picnic table and figuring it out as I go. This is a very serious tool. I'm wearing gloves and I have my glasses on. Normally I'd wear goggles but I can't find it right now. I'm not going to be using it too much. Um, but if you are under the age of 18, please use this under supervision. Even if you're an adult, Please be mindful when using something like this. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna measure these little edges and cut those and drill those in. So now what I'll do is measure out these longer boards so that I can get even legs. Um, I am going to put them at a bit of an angle so that the bar for the seating will be good. Let's see. I don't necessarily need it to be too tall because it's for chickens. <laughs> so 16 inches. love making stuff, no matter what, no matter how. So 
So I'm going to drill it in a little loose so that I'm able to adjust the legs. Um, and then I'll drill the legs together using another beam or another piece of wood. And that should solidify it for me to drill it in for good onto the tabletop. At least that's how I envision it working out. Will it actually go that way? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Let's see how it stands. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh my god, it's level. Right? Yeah. That's just luck, y'all. I really didn't know that'd be level. Okay. So it is okay cool so the next thing we need to do while it's like this is put the bar here and this is what's going to support the actual sitting thing okay we have two of them how is that do? that's perfect that's crazy so i'll cut this one to be that wide Where'd I put the marker? Oh, it was in with the nails. Okay. Wowza. Oh my gosh, guys, we're almost there. That really like locked it in place. So the last step would be to put the seating down. Oh. And voila! <laughs> oh my gosh. And now the chickens have the picnic table. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, they're gonna love it. So here's the finished table. <gasps> Guys, it is so cute. <gasps> wow. Wonder if the chickens will like it. Let's see. Here they come! Get on up there! You got it! They're all like, what is this? <laughs> you gotta get up there, y'all! Will you be the first? You can do it. Hmm. It's a serious learning curve, huh? You can do it. I feel like once one of them does it, more of them will. <gasps> Not what I had in mind. But you're using it. <laughs> oh my gosh! And there you have it, folks. A chicken picnic table. Eat that scratch. In class. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making this table and I know the chickens love it. If you guys ever feel inspired to just go out there and create, do it. Don't let anything get in your way. If you feel that, that urge to do it, please follow it. And I'm sure you're not going to be the only one that's happy to see what you make. Brian here, Redley French. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Take care, everyone.